All right, all you crazy crossfitters out there, guys, got a uh, fun little workout for you for Friday. Uh, it's called the, po the posterior chain gang. It's gonna be all about your posterior chain, those glutes, those quads, that um, those hamstrings, that lower back, all right? So our low equipment option, all right, is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of goblet squats and American swings. Now, if you have a kettlebell, you're gonna do men uh, somewhere uh, at or below a 53 pound kettlebell, and ladies, somewhere at or below a 35 pound kettlebell. For the dumbbells, same deal, guys. So, uh, for the men, somewhere at or below a 50 pound kettlebell, and ladies, somewhere at, or I'm sorry, 50 pound dumbbell, and ladies, somewhere at or below a 35 pound dumbbell. All right, so 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, Goblet squats, American swings. So you'll do 50 goblet squats, 50 swings. 40 goblet squats, 40 swings, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10, and your workout is over. Nice quick little burner for a Friday. All right, guys, same deal for our no equipment option. We're gonna, I'm gonna ask you to find a backpack, load that thing up with some weight, um, and then perform 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of backpack bear hug squats. So you'll be bear hugging, that backpack that's loaded with weight and getting a squat, and then backpack swings, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do those, grabbing the top of that backpack and doing some Russian swings with it um, that way, okay guys? So, same deal here, you do 50 backpack bear hug squats, 50 swings, 40, 40, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10, all right? Like I said guys, quick little burr, just stay after it, hang on to it, it's gonna burn the quad, it's gonna get a little grippy, trying to hang onto that um, kettlebell for that for those larger sets, guys. But um, yeah, let's get after it. Let's get after it hard and get it done. Finish the week strong, okay, guys? All right, I'm gonna back you up. We're gonna go over these movements quick and you guys can get after this one, all right? Okay guys, really pretty simple today for our movements, all right? I've got a backpack loaded up with some weight, I've got a dumbbell, I've got a kettlebell, okay? Uh, we'll start off with the kettlebell, guys. So with the kettlebell for the goblet squat, you can hold that kettlebell however you, you choose, however you prefer. By the horn, you can hold it horn down, horn to the side, whatever you prefer. I tend to prefer either horn to the side or horn down, when I'm doing goblet squats, okay? So I like to just flip it up, catch it here, and this is what we want to be thinking about, all right? So getting that kettlebell up underneath the chin, we want to think about elbows kind of tucked in towards the ribs. We want to be in a good shoulder width stance, all right? Good shoulder width stance. If you're not sure where you should be, just do it, just try to do an air squat, uh, and wherever your feet end up for that air squat, that's probably where you're going to want to be for this goblet squat. From there, guys, we're going to think about sending our hips back. All right, we're going to reach with our seat, okay? So we're, our first movement isn't our knees going forward, right? We want to make sure that we're reaching with our seat, keeping a, tuck, a neutral, uh, neutral spine here, keeping that pelvis tucked, right? We don't want to pop our booty out there, right, and then go down. We want to keep a nice tucked pelvis, okay? And then reaching with that, with those hips back and down below parallel, looking to get the crease of the hip below the crease of the knee, here, nice upright chest, pressing out on those knees and up to those heels. Okay? All right. It's the same thing uh, with the dumbbell, guys, for that dumbbell goblet squat. For the dumbbell goblet squat here, okay? I prefer here. You can hold it like this if you prefer. All right. I just prefer to hold it by the top bell. And then, same thing. Same points of performance for that squat here, okay? All right, changes a little bit with the backpack, okay? So you're gonna get your backpack and you're gonna bear hug this thing. We're gonna get it up as high as we can get it. We're gonna bear hug it against our chest. And then from there, points of performance are the same, right? Just trying not to let that backpack and that weight pull you forward and around your back, all right? And you don't want to be here as we're squatting, you want to try to keep that nice upright chest, all right? 
in that squat. Okay, that's our squat. For our swings, all right, you have the dumbbell or the kettlebell. We're going to do American swings. We're going to go all the way overhead, okay? So gripping the kettlebell by the horn, all right? Good flat back position up here. We're going to flex at the hips, right? So we're going to focus on pushing the hips back. I want to think about taking the head of the femur and driving it into my pelvis, right? Head of the femur into the pelvis forces me to hinge. Head and chest comes over the top of that kettlebell. From there, I'm going to drive the hips through and squeeze the glutes at the end, okay? And then that kettlebell is going to start to move here. Okay, and as it gets out here and gets weightless, I'm going to give it a pull and pull up and overhead. Okay, and as we finish, guys, we're going to finish biceps, covering the ears with that kettlebell over the crown of our head. Okay? All right. Looks very much the same with the, with the dumbbell, guys, except we're going to have that dumbbell going front to back. We're going to grip that dumbbell with both hands here. Okay? And then from there, same deal. Up and over half. All right? Now, what changes with the backpack is we're going to do Russian swings. Okay, so now we're just going to come to parallel. Because of the fluidity of the backpack, right, there's some slack in that backpack, and it's not a static um, object like the dumbbell or the kettlebell. So if we went to go overhead, it would flip around and may hit us in the head. So we're just going to go to parallel, all right, where we can use centrifugal force to keep that, that um, backpack nice and stiff and solid out front and not have any um, risk of, of injury. All right, so what I, what I would like to see you do or what you can do with this, guys, is I've got kind of a knapsack, one with drawstrings, okay? So I'm just going to take and create a handle. I'm just going to kind of roll it up and grip that, just like a kettlebell here, and then from there, flexion and extension, and going just to that parallel position here, okay? Same deal. Now, things to think about are really important, guys. We don't want to pull on that kettlebell or on that swing. We don't want to pull on that swing until the hips are through. Right? We don't want to be driving the hips through and pulling before those hips are through. All right? Another thing is we don't want to overextend as we drive those hips through. Okay? So we want to think about squeezing our glutes. If we think about squeezing our glutes, it stops us and keeps us from overextending. Okay? So thinking about squeezing those glutes on the way through and not pulling until you squeeze those glutes and those hips are wide open. All right, guys. So, again, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of squats and swings. Get after this one. Going to be a fun little burner for a Friday. I know you guys will crush it. Can't wait to see your times. Have fun. God bless, and we will see you tomorrow, guys.